What's up, guys? We got big money. Not big money, the biggest money, I think, Scotty. Now trying to push Prohibition down? We're talking about Jeff Bezos and the Koch brothers. Is that the biggest money out there? I think one of the Koch brothers is dead, so it's not just the Koch brother. But yes, man, I was surprised to see all these. Uh, there's these super PACs that are going on, and they are really pushing for legalization in 2024. So I figured we'd get into it. Maybe it's a little celebrate some progress, you know? I like it. I like it. Anybody, If anybody's wondering, I saw welcome. Banner is on. Hey, Grambo. Uh, Good morning. Good morning. Yes, Banner had the hockey jersey on, so I said, let's make it a theme, you know, happies and slappies, gloves off, whatever you want to do. I'm up in Canada, so it's not the hockey show, but uh, it's the fun show. Okay, Scotty? I wore my, hang on, my alien shirt. You know why? Because High C was in here earlier, and he was just like, do you guys hear about the three stars that disappeared last night, man? <laughs> and I was like, Matthew Perry died. He didn't disappear. And he was like, no, the stars in the sky, those stars. And I was like, ugh. But for real, man. Oh disappeared disappeared bro that's what those of us with the right kind of radios you know we know must mean some stuff yeah it means something man aliens man that's what it means can't mean nothing <laughs> it's got to mean something well last last comment on the attire just something about a hockey jersey is it look it makes me want to just start drinking beer cuss and, and yeah. kind of fight. i mean Watch. i guess that's not saying that's the sport no. but just you're Dude, watching I too much litter kenny I've never seen you yeah. want to fight anybody in my entire life, man. You're the most mellow guy I've ever met. Mm -hmm. All right. Just rough house. Just rough house. Let's get into this, though. Scotty, uh, you got a great show here today. We're going to talk a little business. What's going into what's going on in our grows, actually. Um, hey. but first, uh, big money in cannabis trying to push prohibition down. I, obviously, we know um, they, they, they want to get in this as well. It's some of the biggest money out there right now with the tax dollars that is all in the open, in the news. So let's get into it. You no, know, they seem to be doing a good job with it. We just saw that Georgia, these states are legalizing each state one by one. Uh, and Georgia now, you can only buy it at the pharmacies. There's only two giant corporations that are in charge of growing it for the whole state. Uh, you know, they got millions and millions. That's on the medical the state. Once I would assume once they get wrecked. Right. Like it's not okay. just going to be farm Dude, farmers. They're not phase. getting wrecked there, man. That's CBD oil is all you can get. You have to go to a pharmacy and get special permission and get CBD. It can't be over 5% THC. I mean, it is the dumbest law over there. And you can see it's politicians just being like, I can't, we can't lose on this money. I look at this other state next to us is getting it. And with it's billions of dollars out there, man. I mean, you can get CBD oil, CBD, CBD oil. Anyway, I mean, just order it online. I, it's true that 5% cap on THC is crazy, but I thought all 50 states, you can get CBD oil pretty much anywhere. Yeah, that's why I think it's such a dumb law. So now what are you doing? You're signing up so you can go to a pharmacy to get this official CBD oil that's made by a government-sponsored you know, lab or whatever. I mean, it just seems like it's made by people that completely don't understand these laws. And it seems like they're going, hey, look, I've got half of my constituency or no, 80% of my constituency that says, uh, hey, look, I want to have access to good, C or to good quality cannabis. Then you got the 20, you know, the, it's, it's getting to be to where it's like 80, 20, that pro cannabis, man. So it's a uh, fine constituents for me. Constituents is the people that uh, are in your voting area that vote for you. So the guy, and I'm the talking like concerned. the people I, you represent, but I got a city councilman across the, the way from me. And if there is an opportunity where he goes, Hey, look, we can vote to limit dispensaries or to uh, remove dispensaries from the County or from, yeah, from the counties as a County commissioner. I don't know. And I can be like, dude, you're against that. Oh, I'm against you. And I can get me and all my friends to vote you out. I, you know, I'm not saying I know enough people, but if I stand there on the, you know, college Avenue with the sign that says this guy wants to, you know, is anti-cannabis, I'll bet you I get a lot of attention for it. And I bet if you have an anti-cannabis stand in Fort Collins, you ain't getting voted. You ain't getting voted in or reelected. You agree with that? Yeah, I don't think you would do real well. No. Uh -uh. No. Because it's the will of the people. And do you know anyone in this town that really is like anti no, 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 but I know a lot of people like you that are anti big business. Like, dude, I was talking to you. I'm like, dude, the Koch brothers and Jeff Bezos are behind cannabis. It's going to be so good. And you're like, oh, I wonder what that's going to look like. What do you um, mean? What do you mean they're behind it? Like they're giving money and they're, 
just yes, a lobbyist or you know yes here's why i'm blowing it from the from the the uh in the show i have some uh, evidence of this they can't hire people they cannot freaking find people to hire and because everybody smokes weed nobody's passing a drug test do you know who also had that problem uh-uh the fbi no uh yes. you're right i heard you about that that, yeah, that was I a did. few years ago now but they, yeah. it was exactly that problem specifically for people who worked in like Heck, it yeah. and, and computers they couldn't find CSI anybody because yeah because nobody was like yeah like i want to smoke weed at them i don't need Think you about that though we know you can be high i mean being behind the computer and doing stuff maybe you're programming whatever you're doing in that realm that's something that oh, some yeah. guys need. They they need cannabis to perform in that realm where we know the other substances out there. You can't sit there with a glass of whiskey or a beer and continue to perform at that job by any means. Um, so that is interesting. Just as far as the employment standpoint of it is Amazon, though. Maybe we don't know. Maybe you shouldn't ask the question. Do people want to work for them? Go ahead. Yes. Yes, they do. And it's one of the biggest employers in the country. But I'm sorry. Hey, I got to break in and say, I, when I had a, I had a computer and I bought this computer and nobody could fix it. I got, I used to have a volcano. This is 20 years ago, probably. And I would bring people over. I'd get them stoned. I'd be like, all right, fix my computer. And they'd be like, hey, I just have to sit down, man. I don't know what's happening. And then I had this one kid that came over and I go, hey, man, you want to get high? Or I said, I don't know, maybe fix a computer before you get high. And he goes, dude, I have to be high to fix your computer. I got him high as fuck. He fixed my computer like it was nothing. And what company do you think he works for now? Google. Uh, Google yeah. didn't give a shit if he, if he had to be high as fuck to uh, you know, fix computers or to do whatever the hell he did. I didn't care. Who's don't know when I heard with the Amazon, it depends on where you're working there. But I've, I've wanted to tour an Amazon like prime warehouse just to see. I've seen like driven by the massive building, but to see what it's actually like in there. Because I've heard people be like, dude, did you hear like on the shift, like th somebody just died and then they, they, everything just keeps working. You cannot stop. I actually no, worked. I worked at the sure. one in uh, in Aurora, Colorado. I actually got a job as a, one of the freelance drivers. You, you download an app. And then just like you're like some sort of like weird government yep. agent, you just get a notification, you go pick up packages and deliver them. I got fired. What, for failing a drug test? Right? No, no, because I, I, did, I did not. I, I'm a hack sort of guy. I just figured out how to like not deliver the packages but still get paid. <sighs> Jeff, I had a guy come up to me one time and he just put his arm on my shoulder and he goes, Scott, some people can smoke weed at work and other people can't. <laughs> you're not one of them, man. <laughs> I'd locked up the computer three straight times, man. <laughs> yeah, I had the, you know, the guy was nice enough. He was the HR guy. You you know? He didn't fire me, you know? You know what it was? I was selling windsurfing gear. And so to be high as hell, serving, so, you know, yeah, yeah, man, dude, get that board. You're going to love it. It was a double edged sword. It worked good, but it used a computer, man. <laughs> hey, can I tell you why I, um, but why I thought like this or why I was so excited about, you know, e we should celebrate, even though it might not, you know, with the Koch brothers and Jeff Bezos uh, in charge or running things, it might not be exactly what we want. And by the way, the other richest guy in the world is Elon Musk, and he actually smoked weed on the show, on Joe Rogan. So he's obviously making a statement for it. That's it's a lot of juice. And it's it just reminded me, man, that me and you were about the same age, Jeff or Banner. I'm sorry I used your birth name. And uh, when we were younger out of high school, I mean, my wife went to rehab for smoking weed. They were that freaked out in the 80s. It was a gateway drug. It was going to lead to instant addiction. And almost everybody knew that wasn't true, except for a certain it's small themselves. group of people. Yeah. It's like those advertisements almost they almost did it to themselves like you'd see that this is your brain on drugs i mean some of them did scare me but then once it's like once you tried it you're like whoa like these guys are just totally full of crap yeah like, and it, as much as i bitch about the crappy weed laws it is cool that we were able to change it and i was watching i don't know if anybody else caught it it was the weirdest spectacle in the world grandpa will you click that link for uh it says look at yes 
Dude, I happened to throw on the Francis Ngannou. <laughs> I thought that was me for a second. Francis Ngannou and uh, Tyson Fury fight. I Everybody love has, Tyson uh, Fury, dude. He's the man. He's dude, he's, they are both really cool, but it was just the craziest spectacle. It was in Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm. And like, so wait, whenever- these are official boxers, like lightweight, like an official. This isn't any dude, type of WWF yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, no, these no, are the, the biggest people you've ever seen. These are the big seen, dogs. Man. Yes. Yeah, you and, got it. Official but, boxers. Going at it. Yeah. And anyway, by the way, the pre-show was absolutely amazing. I was like, and it, uh, what the high C was in the other room doing Google ads and my kid was cooking something. And I'm like, dude, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Come here, check this out. And nobody would even look up and they just wouldn't even look up to acknowledge, mm-hmm. which made it a little bit less amazing, you know, <laughs> but it was in Saudi Arabia and it was mm-hmm. just so different. It was like, you could tell the King was just like, I want these two people to fight. I'll build an arena for it. And, it was everybody was there, like every boxer ever, you know, in the past 40 years was there. It was just insane, man. And it, uh, it, and oh, here's the thing like when the prince and the king came out, if you didn't clap, dude, you were in trouble, man. I don't know what the hell was going to happen to you. <laughs> Cameras, like they, they face recognition you and just take you out later. Yeah, it just wasn't a free country you could see, man. Cause here's what happened like one guy won. And uh, the, the, there was a guy, Francis Nagano. He won. Oh, no. Huh? I, I, I wanted Tyson to win. I didn't hear. Oh, yeah, it, it, dude, he got, Tyson got knocked down. He got basically concussed, which boxing is pretty interesting because they just lay up with your eyes like this and tell you to go back and fight again. Yeah. Uh, but at the end of it, the guy, I, I didn't think the decision, nobody thought the decision was right. And nobody said anything. If you were outside the country, you could say whatever you wanted. People were like, what a ripoff. That was insane. The people that were inside the country were like, I want to thank the king and the prince for hosting us. And they did a great job. And it was very fair. And I was just like, it is so nice. I want to just turn that off and celebrate America that we can say. Well, dude, I mean, maybe you got arrested a little bit for smoking weed. We in 420. I went and smoked weed in college and just right out in the open as a statement. They didn't come and arrest me. You cut your hand off. Yeah, man. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it was. it's great to have freedom. And I do want to celebrate the fact that we were able to change things. All of us just smoked weed, what they call passive resistance or something. Just <laughs> just a reminder, we, we kind of started this country because we were like done with the kings. Ah, uh, yeah, man. True so story. I started getting all political, man. When's July 4th? Is it coming out? It's next year. Hey, when's uh, Independence will, uh, Day for you guys, man? Oh, we they do something July 1st. Actually, yesterday, or Halloween uh, last week was the day they light off the most fireworks here where I live in, in British Columbia, which is just weird. But I will I will celebrate your your America. I was I went to the haunted house the other day and I was in line and it was like a club like strobe lights and they're playing all this music and Kid Rock American Badass came on. Ah. I'm not a Kid Rock fan. But I do get caught up in some of his songs. I was like, man, all right. American Badass, Haunted House yeah. Line, Canada. This is different. <laughs> but in the same way, man. Dude, like, dude I, I hear that J-Lo doing it well song. <laughs> J-Lo, man. Is Halloween not a off, thing in Canada? Man. What's it? Halloween's not a thing in Canada. Do you guys have Halloween in Canada? No, oh, celebrated heavily, man. I was. We got a comment about coming up about what I was for Halloween. I had to go to Halloween. Had to. I enjoyed a Halloween party with my wife and her work friends. We'll say. Um, <laughs> Grandma, did, did you dress did. up for so, Halloween? You seem like the guy that would dress up for Halloween. No, I broke my freaking toe. Oh. Like two, I was supposed to be in Des Moines, Iowa, seeing my old band on Halloween, and I broke my toe, and it snowed, and I had to be here for the live show. Scott. Hit me with a stick. It was brutal. Uh, speaking of sticks, mm. can I just show you? Since I'm going to muscle a little grow talk in, I went and bamboo staked up my uh, plants. I'm just getting in the flower. <laughs> I, I wonder wanted, what that was. I want to reiterate again if you use bamboo stakes, these things are for rebar. You can buy a hundred pack of them at Home Depot. And if you know what rebar is, it's that metal bar. And I've actually seen it. I've seen it go through people, man. It's no good. So, yeah, man. Concrete use section. Of, use one of those, man. Yeah, works um, good. Be more stylish. Dude's always concerned about the look of his European hotel room, grow room um, on Amazon. There we go. Shout out to Bezos. They have, and maybe at some other places, green. The color green and a little bit smaller uh, bamboo ends. You can buy like a 200 pack for whatever that work really well. Same exact concept as what you showed. Yeah. I don't know if I could do the, the safety orange in the grow room. It's good, though. Uh, 
And man, I will just say that the I just wanted to celebrate the changing of opinions and all the, I was thinking about it, employment discrimination where you had to take a drug test uh, just to get hired and social discrimination. If people found out back in the 80s or when I was young that you were a, a cannabis smoker, man, that was a gateway drug. You might as well have done cocaine, man. You know, you're going to get addicted. And legally, dude, we all know this, man. You get caught with weed while you're driving. Even now, it's a freaking mess. Um, yeah, that one's always evolving. Money, an evolving money grab. Sometimes, sometimes keeping people safe, you know. As I always say, disclaimer, you can be too high to drive. No, my, of but. course. My point is, though, that if you get pulled over and the car smells like weed or the cop says, you've been smoking any weed, your eyes look red. Uh, you know, it can be a huge problem. It's because there's really not good laws enacted uh, for cannabis DUIs yet. No. All right. I'm glad. Banner, get too high. Glad. Yeah. Good talk, Banner. Good talk. <laughs> Grambo, I'm going to start talking to you. And first, <laughs> I mean, you know, I love a good talk, bro. I didn't even say hello to you yet, Grambo. Yeah, what's up, man? Hey, tight work on the live. Yeah. That, that was guys. really cool. That was really, everybody tight work on the live. That was really fun, yeah. man. Yeah, no, it's, it's been you guys are missing them every Monday, 420 Pacific time live on YouTube. We've done three in the bag now. So go check them out. Some good shows. Good panel show. That is we got a, a usually like five or guests on there. And they keep uh, they keep age restricting them and not pushing them out. So if you guys aren't getting them, make sure you're subscribed, like make sure the metadata is tied to you. So this thing gets to you because it's a it's a heater. I've been learning stuff. You know, this is oh, they're good. Yeah. They're heaters. All right. It's heaters. But yeah, no, cannabis is definitely changing in the sort of like, the, I know we always talk about how young people aren't really drinking. They're all smoking. Yeah. I know even like my aunt back in Iowa, she's this, you know, old rep repressed lady that doesn't do anything. And she's like, oh, I went and got my med card. She gets the 3% boof weed from Iowa right. dispensaries. But when I, I was like, my aunt bought weed at a dispensary. Yeah. I was like, I don't care. Even though that's boof and it sucks. That's a huge step forward for me and cannabis and everyone. Hey, you and my so mother-in-law smoked the same uh, cartridges. I know, You're both laser cats. When I heard Scott's, uh, Scott's mother-in-law smokes the good stuff. Uh, She's gangsta. Only do hey, speaking cats. of my mother-in-law. the youth there. Hey, just real quick. My mother-in-law and my okay. wife went to Amsterdam. Sorry, let's oh. just take a second. And so they brought me back souvenirs. And first off, she's like, I bought you seeds. And I'm like, please don't buy me seeds from Amsterdam. But <laughs> anyway, she brought me space cake. I don't know if you can see that. Mm. It's cookies. I have no idea. I'm scared to eat. And by the way, when I opened her, I was nice. And I you know, opened her luggage for her uh, so she could unpack it. And these were right out, like in front, like not even trying to hide them. And oh, I was just about to ask, uh, going through international customs, you probably want to care. Oh, care less. And then I'm so glad you can't get these in America. Grambo, I don't know if you can mm -hmm. see. You want to do clone cam? Uh, the what? Clone cam. Clone cam? Yeah, remember we had the clone oh, yeah, cam? Yeah, yeah, just take a look. I don't know. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. Dude, it looks like Michael Jackson in a Sergeant Pepper outfit, but it's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> right? Am I wrong? What the They're hell? rolling papers, man. So, yeah, strawberry pop Gee, rolling what? papers. Come on, that's weird, right? I like those more than the weed cookies. <laughs> All right, dude. Sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt you, sir. No worries. Or hang it. That I was when Grambo was mentioning the, and he said a lot of the kids today. I think you see it with your daughter are using cannabis a bit more. My son is almost like a polar opposite. Where when I was his age at oh, nineteen now almost, um, I'd go out and party and I'd drink, and he will drink maybe once a month. The rest of the time he's token, and not chronically. He you know so he he strategically has times in the day he wants to do it. But um, it's really good to see that effect. I'm sure that has caught the the eye, the ear of big alcohol, and oh, that's yeah. why they're buying into this business as well. You know, you have to have the right constitution to be able to drink. I mean, for when I would try to drink, I'd be like, yeah, this is great, and I would be hungover for the you know two o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon the next day. Like I very quickly understood that it wasn't for me. Yeah. Definitely a total reaction if you're drinking too much or some people just don't have a system that, like, hey, if they drink too, they're like, it just totally negatively affects them, which I, I get that. It's it weird. It's like considered when a poison I, uh, in, in large amounts. So when I ingest the poison, the more poison I ingest, the less good <laughs> I feel. And it's really... <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and do me a favor, Grambo. I was trying to figure out how many generations it took to change these pot laws. Okay. And I didn't really know exactly what a generation was. Is it, what gets, it, it gets murky, right? Right. Because yeah. it used to be like 20 years or so back and, when our great well, and grandparents, they're, they're right? They're lettered in our modern day, but they kind of weren't before. Yeah. You, what'd you find here? Okay, you got, I don't know what the silent, silent generation. generation. Yeah. yeah, right? What's up with that? Yeah. Why didn't they talk? <laughs> Speak up. Ah, uh, see? Baby boomers, they actually started speaking up, right? Mm. And that's the <laughs> 60s, 50s. <laughs> and how'd that go? <laughs> Hey, what? All right, man. My parents are doing okay. okay. Generation X is 1965. That's me. That's 1965 to 80. We smoked a lot of weed. As soon as we got to of age, what was that, 92? I remember smoking, you know, like really trying to make a social change back then. And I'm going to say this next one breaks my heart. I'm a millennial, you guys. You are. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, bro. 1983. I'm 40. I'm not a millennial. Wow. So, but anyway, so your generation mm. was really not having it with the cannabis uh, prohibition. No, we grew up like I remember the all the rappers, you know, Cypress Hill. I grew up. One of my first memories is turning on Cypress Hill's Black Sunday and just I want to get high, so high. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, baby. yeah. Nice. So like it changed the stoner stereotype right off the bat. It's like it wasn't drug addled losers. It was a bunch of successful rappers, musicians, like yeah. uh, uh, athletes. You know. Yep. I grew up with Ricky Williams being one yeah. of the top, you know, that guy's so cool. Yeah. Oh, God, he was cool. He just still decided, is. Still is. He was a Miami Dolphin. And he was like, eh, if you're going to make me quit smoking weed, I'll just quit football. And he did. What? <laughs> you know? well, I thought that was neat. What is Generation Alpha? Oh, sir? that's my kid's generation. So my kid was born in 2017. So she's Generation Alpha, bro. Crazy. Oh, that's some deep shit, bro. That's pretty, and that's awesome because my kid's alpha as hell. She's alpha. Hey, man, I found this. About- you remember in New York, we do the stories about all the unlicensed cannabis shops there? There's yeah. like thousands of them. Just every bodega is now selling weed. And uh, they don't want to bust them. This is a state cannabis agency pauses trials for unlicensed shops. Oh, wow. What is this a picture of? This is weird. Is that really what a dispensary looks like in New York? <laughs> That's weird. It is weird. I thought, I thought it was a story to the two. Yeah, it does look like <laughs> yeah. probably was at one point. But uh, it's interesting. We talk about the will of the people. Nobody cares, man. Not even enough to waste the court's time. It, sure. It's I, the will of the people. But again, also, it, it's really surprising me. It's taken this long just with the money involved, the money to be made, unfortunately, by the government, which is why. These conversations always remind me, I feel like I should do like a service announcement where y'all know you can just grow your own. Not everybody can grow their own, but so much easier to not participate in a lot of what we're talking about today, in my opinion. Do we dare take the AC Infinity break? Because I just grew my own in a two by four AC Infinity tent with very little effort. Mm. I'm just proving the fact that what you're saying, dude, anyone can grow their own. Uh, you don't need your own, you know, big giant grow room or even to own your own house anymore. Uh, you could put one of these tents just about anywhere. No. I'm going to scroll down. There's a couple of pictures in what's going on in our grows because you he, he did grow some dank and the real two real buckets um, and a two by four kit. There we go. Uh, so that's the kit from AC Infinity that comes with everything to grow. Yeah, and that is on these guys as a two by four man. And I just want to say, by no means my best work. I just wanted to see what I could do without a lot of effort with a two foot by four foot exactly stock. There's no CO two. Uh, there's a two hundred watt light I that I did a bad job of. You can see. Well, actually, I, I grew them a little tall. I know you're going to bust my balls. Go for it, dude. So I just, I always get, how can we, as a grow tip, like how do we grow less legs and not necessarily more bud, but did you just badge them a little bit longer than you wanted to? Probably did. But the idea, and like, it's the first time I've ever grown with such a weak light. It's a 200 watt light. Grant, but thanks a lot, man. Will you scroll up, show the buds at least, bro? <laughs> um, but that light is not going, 200 watt light is not going to penetrate that deep in the canopy. Uh, so I just took, scroll down a little bit, if you would, man. Uh, yeah, you see, I, I just took and I decided the first 18 inches, maybe 20 inches is where I'm going to get my buds. Everything else is just going to rob resources. 
as as the yeah. uh, nutrients travel and the and the uh, water travels up that plant, yeah, it does have a long way to travel. I wish that wasn't you know I, I'm not psyched about that, but at least it's not getting robbed the whole way up there. It's going to those big buds or those buds. Like I said, not my best work, but. Yeah, yeah, but it's funny for the idea of having your own personal stash. Like you harvest those two, you get another two started. Yeah. You know, depending on how much you consume, you're going to be rocking it with a two by four tent. And those, as well, we're on it quickly. I'll shout them out because AC Infinity is on our pros list. Dudebros.com forward slash pros, where all our coupon codes are listed. And you can get into that. Check out their complete kits over there. It's the cheapest way to get into a quality grow setup, everything down to the containers. Um, light charcoal filter, scissors included, carbon filter, everything you ate, environmental control. Um, coupon code dude grows over at AC Infinity. If you're shopping on Amazon, dude grows 10, I believe. Yes. Uh, but check them out. I just got a kit. Banner's got one coming too. Full kit. Banner that three by three should be to the hangar shortly for you. Grandma, are you getting a kit? Uh, there was some debate I whether we're repossessing whether, Kenny's kit. And I asked Kenny, Kenny. <laughs> I, and I, I texted Kenny and I was like, hey, I hear you got a uh, tent available. And he's just like, oh, no, 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 I'm going to set it up. And I was like, well, that's not what I heard. Yeah. Yes. If you don't set up a tent after mm-hmm. six months, it goes back into the pool. It's repossessed. Yeah. My, uh, it's my only room. Six months? My, uh, right. My, uh, my brother, uh, Tosh, his, his <laughs> roommate is moving out. So they're turning his uh, room into a grill. Nice. Yeah. But okay, so there's my point. If you you don't, used to be like, oh, I have to own my house or I need landlord protection or something. Mm. Dude, now if you're a landlord or somebody comes in and sees a two by four tent, they're going to be like, huh, and maybe they'll give me some. <laughs> you know, like, it's not the same thing it was. You're going to jail, son. Yeah. That's cold. That's manufacturing. <laughs> <laughs> Where you want to go? We've been jumping around a little bit, having some fun on the show. We can take it to comments. I don't know if you were done discussing uh, yeah. money and cannabis. Pretty much, man. I just wanted to see. Uh, hang on. Do me a favor. Just hit the Jeff Bezos wealth calculator, if you would. What? Yeah, watch this, wealth man. Wealth calculator. It's insane, man. Hang on. Let's see. That there is. you go. Watch this. This is what how is Jeff happening? Bezos made since you started reading this page. Do me a favor. Re- maybe read. Click it or whatever. That's just insane. So he makes a thousand dollars a second. Dude, he's making a thousand dollars a second. <laughs> That's awesome. Reset it just because it says that you started beyond yeah. the stage. In, All right. In 13 seconds, it's more than the median yearly salary in the United States. Oh my At god. At 22 seconds, it's more than his own yearly salary, eighty one thousand dollars. <laughs> that's the best part about bezos like yeah i only make 81 thousand, bro <laughs> so, yeah man. And it just freaked me out and this guy's pro cannabis so something tells me yeah this yeah. guy's my recharge partner too, <laughs> what, if, what so you you think that there there has to be an angle it's not just that he's cool secretively he rips bongs and he's like i got enough money i'll throw out as much as i can to get all this is legalized even yeah. if he's not going to directly financially benefit from it Click i don't up. see him making like a ton of money from it grambo the delivery driver is one there is an angle the angle is he can't uh get people to work for him mm-hmm. amazon will no longer test some job applicants for cannabis and backs federal legalization of drug they can't find people to freaking work there that can't pay you know, yeah, like, smoke weed like you were saying earlier, that's kind of a trip because they are so big now that I'm thinking of it that definitely, I mean, they tap into some of the, what, some states' biggest employers. I don't know. Yeah. So think uh, about that where you're like, uh, hey, man, I want good employees. Well, I don't want ones to drink and, you know, a lot or do other drugs. Man, I will take someone that just smokes weed, shows up without a, a drink and a hangover and is able to do their job real well. I can see how that suck if you couldn't take anybody in the pool that didn't smoke weed. Damn, Banner, I'm sorry. I've been yeah. motor mouthing. Eh. <laughs> I'll let Banner talk. Yeah, I think it take sounds great, work. but uh, I mean, do you think they're going to take it off, like D schedule? Do you think it's just going to be schedule three? Uh, these are people that are used to dealing with authority, right? As a matter of fact, they could. Well, I don't know. Just, How are they going to make? They're not going to make money on it if it's descheduled, are they? Well, the Coke brothers is one. I, I didn't t- hit this one yet. Why billionaire Charles Coke thinks cannabis prohibition is counterproductive and spends million to support legalization. 
I trust this guy's smile, man. <laughs> why, is this, <laughs> what, what, why is this counterproductive? Uh, probably because he can't. Oh, damn. Bazinga is now getting You can't get workers. Yeah, Bazinga. You can't get employed. And plus, I don't know exactly what a libertarian is, but doesn't a libertarian allow you to do what you want? Yeah. I thought that was kind of the idea behind it. More or less. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I just find it interesting that a billionaire, Charles Koch, uh, you got Elon Musk that smoked weed on a sh- on the Joe Rogan show. And now Bezos that is saying, I can't hire people unless I relax drug testing. So let's not, let's make it legal so that I can get insurance for everybody. And I mean, it's a big deal, you know? Yeah, that's, that's, that's actually- a lot of money that. And I was going to say, that's an interesting point I hadn't thought of. That's also not just the hiring. Now, if people get hurt while they're working, that's a major kerfuffle for them. Like if they, So they need to get that out of there for a multitude of reasons. I think you're on to something, Scott. I don't think they give, I think it's just on a spreadsheet. Yeah. They're like, oh, we need weed legalized. Tell the people. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to just make things a lot easier. Mm. Anyway, I just thought it was interesting. There's a super pack. That just opened up major marijuana industry players launched Super PAC to advance cannabis reform as 2024 election heats up. Wow. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be political fodder. When you've got something that's a little controversial, but 80% of the people agree with it. And, and people are going to be using it. dollars involved. Billion. Comment. It just sucks that it takes the, the super PAC and the millions of dollars right. from the big business where Billion. we've been bitching about it for a long time. You know, as far as how the laws are unfair, the incarceration, the felonies, the possession, people getting locked up for growing, all that mm-hmm. we've been bitching about for a long time. But yep. once there's millions of dollars involved, if not more, of course. Um, millions doesn't like mean way. anything. A millions is, is millions true. Is, true. It's no, change, bro. It is weird though. Remember, like being a millionaire was rich back in the day, yeah, and now if you don't have more. billions, if you're not earning a thousand dollars a second, bro, you need to be. So tell me, inflation <laughs> inflation's not good. I thought that was never mind, dude. I oh. I know how bad inflation is because my wife was just in Europe mm. and she came back and she was like, everything was so cheap there. Mm. I was like, what? <laughs> Except for gas. Gas is $8 a gallon. Gas. Gas. All right. Shout out to Philly. Gas. Probably how much it is here about. Damn rip off here, this place. <laughs> uh, dare you, let sir. me take, take a moment. We got some comments coming up. What's going on in my grill? We covered Scotty's, but I'm going to shout out some producers here. Yeah. So we got a new producers coming on. Canarado Chris. Hey. What's going on? And Swargdrin. Swargdrin. Think of it as an ancient dragon. From a mystical world, Swargjin. I think I got that. <laughs> the great Ned green grows. dragon of old. <laughs> Ned, nerd grows. One yeah. more. It's nerd grows backwards, man. I got to remember that one. I remembered it and then I forgot it <laughs> and I forgot I remembered it again, man. Nerd grows. Yeah. Oh, man. Casnome Garden Gnome. Yeah. Casnome Garden Gnome. What's up? Thanks for supporting the DGC. Who do you got, Scotty? I like yeah. Schlong I, Johnson. I, I like this one. Long Schlong Johnson. Schlong man. Johnson. That's a uh, in reference to Donkey Dick Buds, man. Oh boy. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you very much, man. That's for the column. All right. Mm. Uh, Luke from Mass. All right. Yeah. I look for right, on. right on. Right <laughs> on. I'll take Mayor of Budtown four to the twenty. What the oh, hell? Four to the twenty. Uh, it's their fault for not limiting characters, bro. All right. <laughs> I barely fit that one on screen. Sounds All y'all should go to dudegrows.com forward slash support. If you didn't know your ten dollars a month, literally. Makes the show happen. Pays the team here. Takes care of Grambo. Uh, hooks up everybody that's helping make this happen behind the scenes. Yeah. Uh, there's always a lot going on. We're always trying. You know, we've got the new live show coming at you. Three days a week. We're coming Saturday. Hanging out Saturday morning to make your morning better. So if you're a grower, we've helped you grow. What's up? No. There you, you, you go, man. I'm ready. to. I, I have something to say after, sir. I got something to say. If, if we have helped your grow or your grower, joining up at dudegrows.com forward slash support pays for itself, man, with the deals from real growers, free seeds, sticker packs, coupons for DGC merch, all at dudegrows.com forward slash support. Yeah. What do you got, Scott? I got a shout out. We got a new website coming, Banner. Yeah. I see you guys working on it all the time, mm-hmm. and I just want to say respect. I'm even going to go with the big ups uh, because it's going to be good, huh? Yeah. I'm psyched, Hope man. so. Yeah, excellent. Thank you for all your hard work, man. Thank Thanks for all the extra work, dude. My pleasure. I am very impressed. Your pleasure. 
A pleasure. Wow, man. All right. I literally sit around and one stuff, time man. that I I do like to toke is I get when I'm banners telling me how to work on WordPress and import and export pages and all this stuff. And I'm like, this is kind of fun as you're figuring it out until you run into some just pointless yeah. WordPress roadblock. Or I don't know, but wealth of knowledge for sure helping me out on I'm almost like a can I be like a half WordPress programmer banner? You did you did well programmer. You can fill in the boxes, bro. All right. You ever hit the bold and the italics key? It looks cool. <laughs> Control alt <ultimate. laughs> Oh man. <laughs> hey man, can I shout out to Matt from ICAN THC? Uh I went and did his show last week and what a cool guy. And Hey, he's a good host, man. He's a really good interviewer. He's got cool questions and whatnot. But man, he's doing it all himself. I've got Grambo here. I've got Dude. I've got Banner. Oh, he's doing it all himself. And I was really impressed by that. So shout out to you, man. Smart fella. Love Matt. Yeah. I was asking him, like, does your wife ever watch your stuff? He's like, hell no, man. <laughs> My wife goes to me. And she goes, hey, man, uh, I was on a train or something and your stuff came up on instagram and i watched it and it was pretty good it was actually pretty yeah good. and then i was all excited that i realized she watched one minute one minute of me as all she she was like that was great man kind of all a lot of people can tell that matters that. yeah oh excuse me did it your wife like ever you watch said, your stuff man uh when i put it on and then she will. She'll hang. I'm like, yeah. here, let's see. Like you said, it's the, the litmus test. I can't see if she hangs or is like, turn it off. I don't say you have to watch it. I just see how long she let me plays it before she wants to watch something else. Can I say something to Banner? Your wife, no effing way. No effing way she's watching you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a really famous comedian who uh, talked about on a podcast that he cheated on his wife. And then she found out and he, his response was like, who the fuck listens to the last two minutes of a podcast? Like, because it's like, he's like, no one ever listened. So they, they do hear. So don't say anything too messed up because it'll get back to them. She's, she's one of the ladies where the, as soon as start talking a little grow or a yeah. little bud or something, the eyes kind of roll back in the skull. You can stay. And the next I'm thing you know, they're like Ooh. not in the room. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I Let's get some that, comments, man. man. We have some good ones here. Comments from over on YouTube. Yes. YouTube. This one, actually, I have a buddy that this happened to. This is Eric at Eric Reality. It says, on a family cross-country trip in our RV, we were pulled into a border patrol checkpoint mm. in the middle of New Mexico. I had just left Colorado and had stocked up as well as having heavy protection on board. So definitely hit the dispensaries, went around. Common move for people leaving or from road tripping from Colorado. I have some friends that did this and the same thing happened to them. Like interstates going out of Colorado, be careful for checkpoints. Yeah, but just to let you know, man, heavy protection and any kind of weed don't mix, man. A minimum freaking mandatory. Be cool with that, man. Be smart. Oh, I thought that meant yeah. like. It does. It's exactly oh, what I'm saying. Man, yeah. Heavy. I don't know what it means. All right, man. Yeah, I don't know the, the rules on that, but it is good to the be aware. Obviously, are, if everything is five year minimum mandatory. That's the rules, bro. Not something no that you feel you're feeling comfortable about. No breaks, man. Yeah. <laughs> From South Florida, I know. So, yeah. Crap. It's, uh, he said they had dogs and a weird X ray looking equipment. Nearly shit my pants, but the agent just asked how many people were on board and if we were citizens. I said, <sighs> yes, sir. And he said, have a nice day. They were looking for people. Yeah. <laughs> that is so crazy, man. Wow. The weed's okay. We're just looking for people. <laughs> hey, you ever seen Soylent Green, this. the movie? No. Dude, I should watch it. <laughs> Only on the show, <laughs> Scotty. <laughs> Only on the show. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, what's the next? Take the next comment. ATC Fool. ATC fool. Man, I've seen a lot of fools on ATCs in my life. No, I think that's why they outlaw them. Brett's idea of allowing an entrant to promote their product in a competition is exactly what's wrong with our federal government. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> what were, yeah, I guess you're right. More like big pharma. Jeez. I went to the so, doctor a couple of days ago and they had a giant TV as you were just waiting for the doctor to come in with the weirdest drugs they were trying to sell you. Mm. Just ask. Just ask. ATC Fools uh, uh, talking about entering like the DGC Cup or competition, then being allowed to promote your own strain to people while you're there, which is kind of maybe jaded. I don't know. 
But I feel you. I feel you, Jason Cole. Thanks for the feedback. Well, it's not uh, uh, that they allow it either. It's, it's just kind of we we kind of like use the honor system, guys. You know, oh. let's make it fun. We can't figure out. We that's why we're asking around. I'm trying to figure out a way to make it more fair. Right now, it is a popularity contest. Mm -hmm. You know, all the cannabis events I go to have been popularity contests. I will. I will say that. Yeah, there's a lot of fire there, but man, some of the strains that come in, there's always about the top 10 when we're counting votes that are, are heavier and people right. have grouped up in as far as, but regardless, I got another comment. About well, hang on one second. Gary. Do you mind if I just ask Banner because he is the connoisseur out of all of us? What did you, out of all the comments and all that, what was your takeaway? What do you think would be the fairest way to judge a cannabis competition? Uh, the favorite one that I have is the, uh, and I forgot somebody else is doing this, but uh, having categories kind of grouped by terps. Right. So, or uh, kind of like, so think of like uh, desserts or sure. like um, gas, hazes, sure. like that. Got my chocolate and I've got chocolates, my yeah. pies over here. Yeah, yeah. And like you could kind of go as deep as you want. But the idea is to, Mooses. like what Grandpa was saying, like he's never going to vote for a haze. So don't waste his time giving him samples that are that kind of weed. <laughs> Especially when there's a whole bunch, either 60, 70 or whatever it is. So do you think you should be able to pick a category that you're special? I think you should have a winner for the category. The other thing is like, how do you compare... Maybe you have an overall winner too. Yeah. But it is hard to compare some of those. Like, remember, we were talking about the orange stuff. Oh, yeah. it's just louder because those are more volatile terps. Yeah. So it's, I don't know, it's kind of apples and oranges. No, I, I agree. I agree. Honey Bell's the so having best it, orange. Having man. it grouped, grouped into categories seems to be a little more fair to me, a little more enjoyable for uh, a judge because there's stuff that, like, I'm, you know, you prefer and yeah yeah sorry i'm thinking of those cosmic crisp apples freaking brilliant man but what? compared to a hitter is that hat yes sir is that hat made in the pole no that no, could be i have a hat with the same pattern but made in the pole it's a really warm one you're making it look to like yeah it's toast that's wool Hold out here. so cool okay. it's mine's wool important. as well what's the brand all right dual hats two sorry two it's uh it's i want to say it's like turtle fur or something you want me to like? To I know you have hat hair right now. You don't want to take it off. Uh, I don't care. I'm old. <laughs> uh, this uh, is uh, Everest, man. Yeah. Oh, oh hey, I'm it. sorry. I take that back. This is handmade in Nepal. Wow. Uh, Here's hilarious. we it's got probably, good taste, Banner. I knew it. Yeah. Child uh, labor. Uh, credit to my wife. Thing. My wife was responsible for this. Yeah. Let's we'll take the next comment, Scotty, from Jerry Garcia. This is regarding I had mentioned sometimes Say, that Jerry was a wait, green. Wait, hang on a second. You can't Jerry Garcia over Jerry Garcia here, man. <laughs> was Jerry Garcia, ninety two, ninety two. Oh, because you might is there. Jerry Garcia is alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. The best is when they did the the tea. They did the joke about how uh, they were going to have a Jerry hologram at the show playing guitar. That's pretty cool. It didn't happen. No. Uh, no, no, no. I'm trying to think in half baked. Wasn't there a Jerry hologram? Oh, Jerry, Jerry in a bag. Yeah. Yeah, Jerry in a bag. He's there selling it <laughs> as like a scam and it turned out to be true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Go on. I'm still working, working on my dude in the bakery hologram. I'll let you know when it's finished. <laughs> We're working. Hey, okay. That's so cool. Jerry Garcia was just talking about, hey, maybe if you're having people promote or come up to talk about their strain if they're a winner some people are just a little socially awkward or don't want to do it i kind of i felt that because it reminded me when i first had to talk in front of the large crowd was doing dude grow stuff being at the dude grows cup the multitudes of them now um and i'm used to it speaking doing the show but before at first i don't know if it's natural for everybody to have a fear of public speaking to a degree i almost feel like that's a natural fear Oh, yeah. I would think so. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I've looked at this a lot. It's like in, in our evolutionary roots, you know, if you had to stand tall before the tribe, things weren't good. You know, like you're not yeah. supposed to have all the eyes on you unless not you're true. the true. If you're like one of the leaders. Yeah, exactly. But you got you, something to say. But if you're not yeah. one of the leaders. I used to hate sure. public speaking. I've cooked a wedding toast before, which is a pretty bad feeling. <laughs> but uh once i started doing the show and then it really has to do with like if i'm at a party with all my friends sure i can get up on the table and and talk because i know they're all my friends and so at the dgc cup man i feel like you probably wouldn't show up if you hated us mm -hmm. so i feel like i'm around all my friends so i'm able to get up and just hang out and talk you know 
That's a pretty chill vibe. Just reminded me. Yeah, just I feel friendly there. I feel uh, yeah. People are supportive. I feel safe. Cool. It's a safe space, dude. Mm. It is a safe space. <laughs> <laughs> and one of my best men we'll take it back to the comment here but we love to go off a little rant at my wedding um people are passing the mic to give their toast this is out on the loudspeakers to everybody and he's like oh yeah uh remember when uh when brett got arrested when uh and like like oh i was like, there grab the mic before he finished the story and take because my 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 wife's jaw dropped. Nobody in the audience knew this. Not even some of our relatives or whatever. It's just like, okay, buddy, I don't know where it's where you're going. Oh, we should have had a meeting. Yeah, Who is this person? But hey, Jerry Garcia was saying per, this is the suggestion: is to have all the submissions fill out ge a general few questions on the card, so it can be shared either by us. I think we should have a card potentially, and what do you think, Banner? At each strain, so if people want to read um, the the mix, the, the cross of the strains. Maybe they want to say the nutrients they use in the grow system. I don't know, but an info card. So at, then what if you're better at writing the info card? Or what if you jazz it up and say it's biodynamically farmed? Put stickers on it. On it, it light, LED lights up. Yeah. Are you influencing the vote then? Because like... I'm not going to vote unless it's you know yeah. organic. That's what I'm saying. I was gonna say I cured my rickets. So blind you know? blind taste test is it part of it? Do you really think you're enjoying the full taste of your fine grown herb? If you're not trying to dry or vaporizer such as the Dynavap, D Y N A V A P dot com. Check them out, guys. Super simple. Right here on their homepage. Get started here. Choose your vaporizer choose your torch and choose your storage. The one thing I really dig about Dynavap, this is your dryer vaporizer for life. Ditch the batteries, ditch the disposable vape pens. These things are awesome. If you're into gadgets or into multiple ways to have a solid state, that's right, I call it solid state, vaping device, go to dynavap.com, coupon code DUDE will hook you up and make sure while you're over there, you check out all their products. They have accessories, ice chilled bongs, and many ways to use the Dynavap. And believe me, when you taste it, you'll say, thanks, dude. Blind, blind, blind taste test, is it part of it? Yeah, yeah, it depends what's important, you know? I just think that you yeah, gotta do it. I like the idea of separating in the terps. Yeah. I think that's- Without getting too crazy. Like, and I don't know, you know if you can do it in a day. I really don't know. When when they do what the NCAA tournament, it's done over a while and it's, you know, done in brackets. 24 hours of DGC Cup. Sounds like a good TV show. I like right? Le Mans. It'd be the Le Mans of weed. Ooh, that's pretty and, cool. And sometimes I wonder if you can even win. Like, I loved the way the Cowboy Cup did it. And you remember the controversy after that. So oh my can God. you even win in this world? I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to think back about that. This is a good point. This is a good point. Um, I am. Hey, what you can take? I'll take this. Miss Miss Terp eighty five thirty eight says, "Wow, Grambo's on fire today." Mm -hmm. and I believe this is what does with our live panel show. Oh. Keep up the good jokes, bro. Great episode, guys. We should have like a back camera that shows how you're working sometimes when you're doing the shows there, Grambo. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. The boards, yeah, no, the I, finger cam. Yeah. Was, sometimes I watch the episodes and I go, like, I don't really, like. I just smoke weed and like disappear into your guys' faces. <laughs> It's, it's a weird thing. I didn't tell you, you don't realize I'm in your guy's soul. You're so big and in my face that I just look in your eyes. I see your inner demons. Huh. Maybe Scotty will have a meeting about this later. Right now, man. Yes, I can. You can watch Grambo finger the huh. boards. <laughs> <laughs> Tight work, brother. Yeah, no, thank you guys. This is an amazing group of guys, and I, I feel blessed to be here. So thank you all. Thank you, sir. Uh, I will remind y'all to comment, like, subscribe if you're hanging out, man. Help spread the word. Help the show out, please. YouTubers, you YouTubers, mm -hmm. comment, like, subscribe uh, as well. Check out our merch, guys. DudeGrows.com forward slash merch. Yeah. We got hats. We got rolling trays, sticker packs, DDC pins and patches. Three different versions of hats. And the hoodies. Oh, yeah. The hoodies, hoodies are coming. Hoodies. The hoodies are Ah, nice. Everybody's yeah, waiting I'm for the hoodies. I'm not sharing the, the imagery just yet. UDGC producers, uh, there's a recent post with the hoodies up for you guys to check out um, and comment on with the sizes. You guys will definitely get a coupon code if you're helping support the show at dudegrows.com forward slash support. 
we love to help you out. So uh, let's move on to a few more comments here, Scotty. Who did, what did you find from Ken Abyss? I was going to actually ask Banner to read this one, but you forgot your glasses What's tonight. No, nah, sorry. I, yeah, I can't do it today. I just think, I think you might. I don't know. This one I found interesting. Cannabis. Our weed may be stronger now, but I call BS on 10 times stronger. Testing back in the day put the strongest weed, which is Maui Waui, at about 11%. The way they tested was whole plant. Now they only what? test the flower. So I'd be very interested to see the numbers in testing under the same method. My guess is two or three times stronger. And yeah, whole plants can agree with that. And the, that crazy, the you know, Afghan or whatever back in the 80s. Stuff ain't 10 times stronger. It's 10 times stronger than a terrible Mexican rag we were finding. Yeah, but what about the old ones that have like a really full profile, man? I don't think they were 3%. I think that what they're talking about, 3% THC, is Mexican brickweed after a year. What I'm saying is the stuff that's like 10 times stronger, it's 10 times more THC. But it it isn't necessarily 10 times as strong because it doesn't have 10 times of the other stuff, too. Yeah, but I think they're just talking about THC levels. I think they're they're taking in a lab measuring THC levels, and uh, and cannabis, I think, is one hundred percent right. There's no way that if something's what thirty something percent THC is about the most, is that right? Yeah, some some are claiming thirty, but you know, some are skeptical. I've seen claims in the low thirties. I guarantee you, like a great you know Afghani from way back in the day was at least ten percent. At least 8%. Mm-hmm. And then also, as we always talk about, the, the THC percentage is fairly pointless. Like, herb back in the day had very unique terpene profiles and it yeah. affected you in a unique ways. So, you know. Just for this specific argument, though, I agree 100% with cannabis. So, the distinction is between strength and effect, then. It could be less potent. Right. Or it, more potent. Yeah. There's just THC. THC levels is all they're measuring. Yeah, yeah. But the effect, though, well, that's kind of what oh, I'm yeah, saying. The effect high. is not... Yeah, I wouldn't say that you get 10 times higher now or two, or even two or three times higher. I, I don't buy that. So ripped off Durban poison in 1992. <laughs> so ripped. I thought of that. Afghani, bro. <laughs> Another comment from Uncle Knife. The show was hitting on all cylinders this week. It was fully crystallized and frostier than a snowman's hand. It smelled absolutely amazing, like a Sasquatch who stepped in skunk shit while ripping a gasser. It tasted even better than it smelled, and exhale was like being mugged by the Terp Burglar. The show was virtually... Virtually lumber free and perfectly trimmed with zero crow's feet. (laughs) Saturday Wake and Bakes. Every week, God bless DGC. What's virtually lumber free? Uh, no sticks or stems, no sticks, man. man. God, Uncle Knight. Got it. Uh, this is to be a copyright. That's it. great. That's wow. classic right there. <laughs> That's LOL for real. Man. I don't know. Sounds like like a, a, uh, yeah, right? Uncle Knife, if you're in America, hook me up. Or, like, I don't think so. Hit me up. No? You can't. Canada? I'm betting Canada with that. Oh, I'm that's your response. No man's hate. Sasquatch who stepped in skunk shit, plus all the quick there. And I read that like a proper Canadian, maybe letter Kenny ish, it'd come off full Canadian. Ah. <laughs> we should make that happen. Hey, I'll work on it. Did you find this one? It's Halloween, Halloween headline. headline. This Halloween headline uh, says, and this is from Cannabis too. Nice. Man in BC wearing a bacon suit eaten by bear. It's a good headline. So, Tell me you're not going to click on that. I'll click on that in a heartbeat, man. I even Googled it. Couldn't find anything. <laughs> I don't know if we mentioned it on the show, but I was baking for Halloween. I think that's probably why. Uh, I have a simple Halloween suit that just makes me a piece of bacon. It's really easy to put on. It's a piece of foam. It doesn't get hot. It's not over your head. I love it. <laughs> like, probably this is getting it. I love yeah. how dude has thought through all of the practicality of said halloween costume yeah you know those and i go yeah you know those things that you put a fan on like for a grand opening or something like that it's this giant tube that waves all around mm-hmm. i had there was four of those in the, the like the island in the center of the street and they were doing that and you know it was like downtown and it was so funny and i just walked right into a garbage can looking at him <laughs> just walking and yeah. At least you weren't looking at your phone. That's the worst one. Uh, or, or people just literally. Sir, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. I thought it was odd they laughed at me. It was supposed to be the other way around. Hey, Sonny, uh, in Bechtopia, I agree with this comment because sometimes I feel guilty. 
It says, if you don't have anything for beneficials to eat, this is insects put in your grow to kill nasty bugs, it's really quite a huge waste of money and time. <clears throat> and, so, and insulting those poor bugs when they wake up and find nothing to eat. Because we sh they ship those cold, right? So bugs, it's right when you take them out of the fridge, like at the grocery store, within like a half hour, they right. go from a, a viral not moving to going crazy. They're waking up, they're hungry, they want to eat. So that's where I also feel bad. Like I'm put, if I'm putting out beneficials, I want them to have some snackies. You know, that's why you got them. At putting them out as you know. a full preventative, I don't think so. Depends on your growth style or what you know. And if you know something is always coming. But I wouldn't put them out without I'm getting them because there's something there to take care of. Yeah, but there are bugs that will eat. That's when we went over all the spider mite predators. If you don't have a high uh, uh, pest pressure, there's ones that will stay. And I think they eat pollen and algae and stuff like that. So we don't have much pollen in there, but uh, they will. Or even worse, they just. Things. Or they'll eat each other. Just, you ever seen the yeah, put praying mantises and then it turns out you got one at the end? Yeah, yeah. Like, screw it. There's nothing else to eat. Let's eat each other. War. So, hey. soil and green is beneficial, mites. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Grandma, you'll like that movie. <laughs> People. Uh, well, you got some fun stuff, some social media we want to check out. What's growing on? Hey, you know what? I just want to say really quick, man. I don't know if you'll identify with this or not, but Audible recommended this book called Shop Class as Soulcraft. Hmm. And it's an inquiry what? into the value of work. And I didn't look anything past it, except I read the title and the tagline. Oh, man, I was thinking about that. I got uh, pretty much relegated to wood shop and auto mechanics. I was marine mechanics. I learned how to work on boats and stuff. But they weren't, uh, you know, putting too much stock in me as far as for, you know, higher education and whatnot. And now that I think about all the tech, man, dude, you can find logarithms online. You can just yell into your phone, what's a logarithm? And uh, but you can't, you know, building stuff still is uh, is a skill, man. I'm kind of glad that for I now. You think that robots are going to build stuff? Have in you the seen future? any of that stuff that, what is it, Boston Dynamics or yeah, whatever I makes? I have. Yeah. Well, even well, Grambo, man, he just asks AI to build stuff for him. It's in, you know, it's not in 3D, but well, it it's does, amazing. It, it does everything now. Yeah. You got to get him a 3D print. It, it makes 3D models. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It, it's insane. No. We should get you, uh, what's the 3D printer called? Yeah, trying to think. 3D printer? Yeah. Something packer. Like they're 3D printing houses, dude. They are seeing that. I've seen that it's crazy. They're just, just so there goes your skilled trade. No, I don't want to trade. I want to be able to build stuff. You know? I watched. Like, well, I'm just I saying, watched a like, video. You still need skill, but them building a house out of pre-made hemp blocks that were yeah. basically like big Legos, which is awesome way to construct stuff. I mean, you still had to have stucco skills. You got to have. You got to be able to line shiz up, and they even did the foundation out of hemp blocks just to the different coating. It's man, I'm really hoping. Um, a lot is going to come from that in the, in the near future. Hey, the one that I seen was just like it, this thing. It looked like a soft serve ice cream yeah. machine. Yeah, yeah, that's and what it I'm just talking went about. Around in a circle with concrete. Yeah, bro, it's just it putting just out like going. a Yeah, it's like a tube of or uh, yeah, just, it, like, a bead. Yeah, it's like a bead of concrete. Um, at a time, it's I brilliant. feel like you could leave that in the morning and come back at night and have a house built. Pretty much, it's pretty creepy. Yeah. And you just need somebody to put in the things for the windows. Yeah, reminds me of ants building an ant hill. Today. Yeah, <laughs> kind of look like it too. It looks like an ant hill. Yeah, yeah. it's creepy. It isn't creepy. Just a quick throw in here, Grandma. Did you have that tab open of my 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 spooky bud rot? Got to show that with what's going oh. on in my grow. I just thought I thought it was just worth seeing. I knew this plant was going, mm. um, and this is where AI couldn't pick up that this is flower. Oh, but so yeah, just, I, I just got off my mountain bike. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, nope. Uh, um, I knew this plant was going to go, so basically, I just didn't go back into the grow shack for two weeks, and then I was like, oh, we should go see what those buds look like. And the, every single flower on that plant was just completely engulfed and just a solid. Oh here you go. God. Yeah, right here. Holy crap. And you're worried about killing microbes. Yo, <laughs> Halloween's over. <laughs> anyway, it, yes, it is over. It's down. You know what? The funny thing is I would I didn't want to touch that plant or be any closer to it. So maybe my son take it down. I'm like, take that down and then you should probably go take a shower. Yeah. Gross. That's the truth, though, man. It's spreading that hot. Easy. 
Oh, man. That's right. That's so awkward. Awkward. I got excited about that. I'm depressed. Uh, what are you going to do with it? Come on, you want? You can wash that, bro. <laughs> yeah, make edibles, man. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> totally a joke. Totally a joke. Sorry, Scotty. I hijacked it. Tell no, me it's not. Your, uh, but you want to play? We'll play is it real? Yes. I got a bunch of them this yeah. week, man. Grambo, you have to play with these two, all right, man? <laughs> on these, I should say. I always tell Scott, I still get messages on Instagram from DGC with this, a weird CG thing that says, is it real, Grambo? Yep. <laughs> Send them, DGC. I all right, here's this first one's from People Magazine. And is this real or is this just like anti-cannabis, uh, what do they call it, you know, programming? Missing dog on the men after accidentally getting high on pot brown. Oh, my God. That is. Wait, wait, wait. Ready? The that, veterinarian told me that after they emptied his stomach, the entire clinic smelled like a marijuana dispensary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling what? BS, man. Oh, I'll call shenanigans. I think shenanigans, man. <laughs> Dude, is it real? <laughs> I'm just poor Dozer. Dozer was the dog. It's real that the dog got high on pop brownies. The author out of People magazine got a little too creative with the description. I think I wanted yeah, to see right. what he I wanted to see what he looked like. I was like, show me his face. Oh, uh, he's trustworthy, man. Oh, shocks. That poor dog. He just got his belly all full of I don't know. What's the source? And then who's paying for that? That seems like a weird article to put in people. But this guy looks like a magic doll made a wish to come. I was gonna say alive. <laughs> this was an AI kind of vibe for me. He looks like a, a boy from Toy Story come to life. I agree. All right. the character you can So make. real or fake then, man? The <laughs> AI, the author's an AI guy. I'm calling fake. Bro. Oh, my God, Scott. I, he, oh, man. Yeah, is any of this real? <laughs> Holy know. crap. <laughs> when you said that, this looks like a generated right. face. So what do you say, Grandpa? Yeah, your name. Oh, my God. Look at his teeth. They look wrong. Yeah. Oh, I think it's fake. <laughs> I don't know. Let's look into this. This is crazy. Oh, man. Well, come on. Go to the next one. We'll see, man. All right. Mm. Is this real or fake? What? I mean, this is my <laughs> teenage cannabis user admits smoking joints before noon. And everyone's like, yeah, so this is from the Irish Independent. So this is across the pond. All right. I don't know. That's not the best headline you've ever seen. Ooh. It's midday. Smoking joints before midday is one of the risky behaviors described by Irish school children in a new international study. Because they're going to. Yeah, is it risky because they're going to get busted? Just weird, man. Mm. Yeah. We're going to get, get Patty O'Toker on that. Tell us about it, Patty. 12% of teenage cannabis users admit taking the drug more than 40 times in a year. What? 40, 40 times? 40 times? <laughs> yeah, it's like 20 days. I mean, if it was 35, I could see, but 40? It's ridiculous. Come man. on. They probably should have a special react. Yeah, less than once a week? That's, <laughs> That's too much. too many. <laughs> Wow. What is it? One in six pupils aged 15 to 16 say they smoke cannabis. I don't know. I just thought it was the headline was crazy. And by the way, we we're just talking about how far we've come in America. This was 20 years ago. This was the crazy prohibitions or the you know, war on drug stuff I was talking about. Not, I mean, the, the article's not making any points. It's just, so, I thought I was going to try and. Well, the, the, it's like, why is it bad? That's, well, the takeaway is that the kids are just getting stoned like all day at school, even. Grandpa, will you find that picture or click on that picture? Quick question as far as Banner saying kids getting stoned at school all day. My son, he's graduated already, but asked, you know, he's like, do you think smoking cannabis is affecting? Like, he's trying to learn Swedish right now, uh, amongst other things. He's like, do you think it affects learning and like your brain in that way? And my answer was, I had friends in high school that were smart as hell and high plenty of the time. I also had friends in high school that were dumb as hell and high plenty. Like, I think it's how it affects your brain. Some people want to go to calculus elevated and they're excited about it and it works. So I couldn't answer it and say, oh, smoking weed is bad in school. Banner, well, you're really technical. You've got to remember things. Uh, you just mess you up to do programming high. Uh, so, I, I mean... Personal experience, your brain works a little differently. Sure. Um, so creative endeavors especially seem to be a little easier or free flowing, being especially because you're more relaxed. And there, I know it sounds kind of stiff programming and building websites. There is a lot of creativity to that, no? Yeah. But if you're trying to like, uh, but there, there are definitely lots of things where you don't want to be high because you need to do it right. 
and you don't want to fuck it up. Yeah. So you need to be at like peak. So I would, it's not a like all the time thing, at least in my experience. Right. But right. for some things, it's definitely really helpful. Agreed. Usually for me, like usually creative kind of thing or, or a small amount just for focus. Yeah. I mean, sense. when the, the guy you're working with has like a promotional idea about real growers and next thing you're talking about, like claw machines and dabbing darts. Yeah. And creative thoughts. There's, <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to stop me sometimes. All right, man. You got to free your mind. <laughs> man. What else uh, we got? Come on. Real or fake, Grandpa? Mm, this one here. Let's see. Yeah. Out. What we got here? Fake. Uh, Is it fake? Full on fake, huh? Uh, yeah. I yeah. Understand. All right. All right. It looks kind of fake. It's gorgeous. It is cool, man, right? Is that Mordor? What's it? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I think that is Mordor. <laughs> an underground volcano, man. Underwater volcano. It's like how you get in. All right, this one's totally fake, but look at the next one. It's pretty cool. Interesting. Why is the water like your AI? Mm. Let's see. I, I might not. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? This one's cool. Oh, get that. Ah, it's cool, though, right, man? Oh, man. <laughs> no, you're not impressed. You could do that in eight minutes. Yeah, I can do that on my phone. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I don't know. The others, I was just high. Would you ever do this, man? This one, I like. Did you ever do this? <laughs> I did cry. Uh, like I said, uh, alligators are fairly chill, but still, this guy's insane. It comes down and touches him. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, human Iver, man. oh no. That's not cool. It's kind Why of, would you do that? It's no, kind of cute. He doesn't have any air. He's not a scuba diver. He's Oh, he's free diving. Holy what? crap. Yeah, good catch. That is insane. He's not going to live long. Next Scott, guy. is this more fetish? Yeah, it's a little bit. I'll show you. It's, it's, and then it got me down the rabbit hole. Oh. Like, this one's weird. Do the next one. I put this on. I thought, dude, I thought you might find this interesting. <laughs> fetish. <laughs> it, 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 it ends well. Dude, that is a... Like a choking a dog, man, and that, that he punches on me, punches the kangaroo to let go of the dog. Where? Now, just uh, wait, hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, watch what happens after this. <laughs> he puffs up like a bro. <laughs> that kangaroo got puffy, man. Hey, Chad, that kangaroo's He's name is like Chad. He's like a six pack, bro. Look at yeah. him, man. <laughs> we got a problem, bro. Running, man. Oh, my God. That's Dude, hilarious. he saved this dog, though, man. I thought that was really trippy. Wow. That's why I just thought that Australia. kangaroo was awesome looking, man. Crazy. Was, ah. So many good uh, kangaroo. There's the one video that's infamous for the guy that just hauls out and hits the kangaroo messing, I think, with his dog as well. It's like just straight up. Bam. Oh, yeah. He just socks it right in the mouth. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that happened there. Might be my, just... I, but the, my favorite thing of that dude is the look on the kangaroo's face. And he's like. All right. He's like, all right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, yeah, 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 you're good, bro. Yeah. What are we looking at here? I I don't know what to say. Look. Oh boy. I don't. I was worried. That we're always talking about <laughs> what are discriminating we against oh us. Oh my god. So yeah, all of these are fairly. Looks like a sperm donation. Bro. Like, uh, Banner, come on, Banner. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So <laughs> that's Terps, bro. That's Terps, man. Mm. So that's all the sauce just floating to the top. Those are all the terpenes floating to the top. I'm hoping that YouTube won't uh, identify these, mm. you know? It looks so, gross. It looks gross, man, but that's not stinky. Hmm. All right. Come on, next. What do we got, man? It's like, yeah. That also looks gross. That looks disgusting, right? Yeah. Man. That's on the bottom of a problem. movie theater floor. Yeah. That looks like fake vomit. This yeah. lung butter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All it right. Came out of somebody's own. Yeah. And you guys know I have a puppy. You know, I'm house training them, man. Did this come out of them? Yeah. Every now and again, you get puppy poo coming out, you know, <laughs> just a little dollop. All oh, these look gross, man. That one looks great. Come on. Nah, that, that, that looks more like chocolate. As I say, that looks chocolate. like a French dessert. Oh, man. It looks like old Ricky Bobby. Oh, man. What happens when I wake up in the morning? <laughs> Get your, oh, yeah, that's ready. awesome. You get your dill on? Yeah, uh, dude, High C sent me that, man. <laughs> About to spark this bitch up. You know the Don't dill. Pickle oh, bowl. oh, you know the dill. Come All right. So ready? So this got me thinking. I'm like, dude, this is awesome. I'm going to put on the show. What's the weirdest? Oh, uh, my. <laughs> oh, oh. What's the weirdest no, pipe uh, they have? Oh, I Googled no. the weirdest pipe and this came up. The dude. human center pipe. <laughs> Are you serious? Is that the name? I, I, 
And it by is. the way, Dangerous Minds, you can have that. The, the fact human, that you're not calling this the human centipipe offends me. so wow. weird, man. It oh. is so weird. God, the human centipipe. I just wanted to see. Looks like a fraternity I, item. I asked dude not to look at it until uh, until we actually did the show. Mm-hmm. That is just. <laughs> I didn't do the close. Who, who else is laughing because of South Park right now out there? <laughs> Leave a comment if you're laughing because of South Park. Do you hear the voice I hear in my head? Because I'm not going to do the voice, but do you hear it? Because I hear I found it. it, man. That is the weirdest ride. <laughs> I found it. That's it. That's the what happens when you let You won the internet today, dude. <laughs> when you let me build this show at two in the morning. Mm-hmm. And by the way, Grambo. Yeah. We start texting each other at 2.45 a.m. yesterday. I'm like, there. hey, somebody's up. We were man. both working on stuff. I, I was fighting eight. Age- Age restrictions on right. YouTube. Scott's making the format. No, yeah, yeah. I was just Googling human centipipe <laughs> is what happened, man. And then we both told each other to go to bed. Uh, but which one of us did? Not me. Oh, me neither. <laughs> okay, let's get high. All right. We wrapping. We taking a, we get into our weekends here, eh? I'm ready, man. I'm ready to do this Saturday. You coming over? <laughs> I like the barbecue. I need to. I need to come down south since everybody thinks I live in the great white north. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'll come down out of my igloo. I'll make a <laughs> long journey to Denver to see kayak. if I can hang out. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know if they'll let me in the country. Nah. Bring uh, it, Duke. All right. right. Maybe not. Uh, stay higher, guys. Check out our live shows on Monday at 420 on YouTube. They are available after they air as well. Just click on the live tab, comment, like, subscribe. Thanks, Banner, Grambo, and Scotty. And take her easy. We'll be coming at you. Peace out. Hey, good hanging, y'all. Take her easy. Later. <laughs>